Hi, it's Lou Manfredini, Ace's home expert. And you know what today is? A great day for a painting project. Today we're gonna tackle railings and spindles on your front porch, back porch, whatever it may be. Now this project does require some detail work. There's a lot of surfaces with the spindles and the railings. So you've gotta do all the scraping and the prep work. But if you do so, you're gonna have railings that look fantastic. For this project, we're gonna use a porch and floor paint, which is a really good choice for exterior painting when you're looking for durability. But like with any paint job, preparation is the key. So you wanna start by taking a look at the areas that you need to work on, and you wanna take a scraper and scrape away any paint that might be loose or areas where you see it just doesn't look right. What works really well is a sanding sponge like this because you can get into the nooks and crannies of the different surfaces what you're trying to do is cut the sheen down a little bit of the previous paint job and then also get it nice and smooth. And the spindles, you want to get all four sides of that. This is a lot of work. Now, if you have larger holes, you're going to use a putty to go inside there to fill those holes. There are epoxy base, there are waterborne. It all depends on what you're more comfortable using. And then you're gonna go around and caulk the areas where you see gaps to kind of fill that all in so it's prepared for the final paint job. We did a fair amount of filling in a bunch of holes and gaps that were on these spindles. So once that putty dries, you wanna take that sanding sponge and kind of get that as smooth as you can because you want that finish to be nice and even so that when you put the paint over the top of it, it looks nice. So this will take a little bit of work to get that looking nice. As I mentioned, when you're doing any kind of railing or spindles, it is gonna take some labor and some scrubbing back and forth with the scraper and the sander to get that prep work looking nice. Once we get this all smooth, we'll clean it off and we're ready to apply the paint. Prior to painting though, you wanna wash it all down with a cleaner like TSP, rinse it and allow to dry. After that, it's time to apply the paint. So when you're using a porch and floor paint, when you have any kind of bare wood that you've exposed from the sanding or the scraping, or even areas where I put this wood putty, I'd like you to put a little primer coat on there first to cover it. Priming all the bare spots will ensure that the finished paint goes on consistently and it's protected for years to come. Now remember, there's a lot of surfaces to cover here when it comes to spindles, railings, the bottom rail. So I like to start at the bottom and kind of work my way in sections. When you get to an area where there's a spindle, start working your way up and applying just the right amount of paint to cover that spindle on all, in this case, three sides that I can get to from here. And then I'll spin around on the other side to clean it all up. When you get to the underside of the top rail, you wanna start and do that bottom edge first, kind of spilling out over to the top and you'll catch a little bit of the brush on the spindles. You'll see a little paint buildup right there. Just lightly even that out a little bit so you avoid any drips. Bottom side first, then you can lift up and start working that top edge, which typically is what you're gonna see as you're approaching a front porch area like this. And you just slowly work your way around and take one last look, make sure there's no drips that you can't even out a little bit with your paintbrush and slowly work your way around. There's no question that painting railings is a lot of work, but the end result is beautiful. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a question if you have it. And if you need some more advice, just go to Ace, the helpful place. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware.